speaking of, in the interest of time, we're going to toss it right over to Janglestorm and Little Big Adventure 2. So take it away. All right, hello, friends. Uh, welcome to this wonderful, uh, yeah, French-developed uh, game uh, called LBA2, uh, also known as Twin Sons Odyssey. Um, yeah, I'm very glad to show this. Oh, you just talk, talk, come on. Tava dando um jeito de, de ficar acordado aqui. É, tive aqui uma atualização de sessão sim, já já está entrando aqui no Discord para acompanhar vocês com o Little Big Adventure e o Wolf. Então, é, só aguardar aí que já já ele entra, por enquanto eu estou aqui até ele entrar. So let's just uh, go into it. Uh, time starts as soon as I uh, skip the game. Uh, um so uh, uh, three, three, two, one, go. Então, okay, so the first um, bit of movement there, um, the last uh, hop, it takes you a few, 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 a uh, little bit uh, forward to uh, skip. It, it just saves a couple of frames, just gets you a little bit ahead quickly. So we're going to go into this uh, back room and pick up a couple of items. The first é, um being the jogo hologram, the second being the magic point ball. Click. The magic ball will be your main attacking item. Big and your attacking item will be your main attacking item. I don't know this game. I don't know this game. I've never seen it. As you can see, the estimate is pretty short. This game has been broken pretty heavily over the past couple of years. It was quite broken when I was speedy running it and then it was broken a lot more after I stopped so uh, you'll be you're, you're in for an exciting run game ele tá falando que um, o so jogo foi quebrado várias e várias vezes é não não chega a ser point click mas a ideia seria por trás igual talvez and because we can get to this part Opa, of the game, we can skip that very first quest. We can skip that very first quest. But not only that, we can skip basically the first half of the entire game, where you would end up going uh, to an alien planet, bon dia, and then back here, and then to the uh, moon. We're going to skip going to the alien planet and back and just go straight to the moon, because the, of course, the area that we need to go to is, is, is there. You just not expect us to be able to get to it. Um, so a little glitch, oh, I say glitch, the, one of the bugs we yeah. use is uh, the basic <coughs> bon dia, bon dia. jump over stuff by using, uh, buenos dias, uh, uh, and reloading. Só dando aquele último recado, pessoal, obrigado por ter assistido até agora, eu vou descansar um pouco, fiquem com o Sonsini agora como um comentarista e host de vocês por um tempinho, desculpa por qualquer coisa aí, pelas brincadeiras, foi muito bom essa madrugada com toda a palhaçada que aconteceu, tenha um bom dia para todo mundo. Yeah, not yet, no. <laughs> eu vou ser franco aqui, eu não faço muita ideia do que se trata esse jogo. Yeah, this is the first time we see the holomap clip. So this is what the holomap's for. You go into the holomap and uh, I'm not quite sure how it works myself, but you can get three doors with it. It's really cool. Do you, do you know how that works, Jake or Silver? Let me, well, uh, let me try to explain. Um, it's a bit weird, but uh, you basically try to set up so you hear this boing sound that you jump. And uh, the holomap, if you have that uh, item open, uh, basically the uh, animation of twins will keep on going. So uh, that allows us to get through doors like that. Uh, yeah, that somehow works. It's a funny thing. Yeah, and for some reason, by going clipping through that door, that. Mas vamos lá. É. O. Yeah. Uh, this is an annoying room where you're supposed to actually collect like three keys. I remember that there was a very, very old route where. O run ele é o. Five minutes to try and get over one of the walls to just get straight to the end key. Um, but that was extreme. Ele é o quinto na ideia board. O PB dele é 28 e 28, que ele conseguiu no popular dia de ontem. E o WR da categoria, pelo menos do N% é de... Eu tenho que ficar com os negócios abertos aqui. De 24 e 34. 
Yeah. Re re rebinding all the hotkeys is essential for uh, speedrunning this game. Yeah. All right, now for some keyboard ASMR. Hope you're all ready. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, se eu for honesto, eu acho que eu nunca ouvi falar nesse. Nesse jogo de 97, até porque eu não fui. É... Eu não fui um. Eu não era um moleque que jogava no PC na minha infância. Aliás, uma coisa bem interessante, por exemplo, da época, assim, é que... Apesar de não ter... Por exemplo, uma coisa que a gente tinha no PC na época que a gente tinha era um... A gente ainda que tinha bastante jogos traduzidos em português do Brasil. Ah, isso é... Metal Gear, isso quer dizer Metal Gear se, por exemplo, o... O Snake pudesse fazer tipo assim, né? Um, everyone thinks you're a hero, so you go and live for life, uh, you, 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 you go retire, and then suddenly aliens come down and say, hey, we want to be friends, but then they kidnap all the children, and now we've got to go on a quest to rescue all the children. Also, shout out to the moonwalk, the by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, I love moonwalk backwards. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, so the plot is very uh, intricate and uh, nuanced, uh, my friends. children are. Um, we're supposed to have like a robe and stuff, like protective clothing, but they didn't. We didn't actually collect it. So we're walking around in our civ civ civvies. Um, eventually, we'll get. You you will see what the clothes what we are supposed to use. But uh, for now, okay. Oh, nice. Uh, Needs to be a little bit closer. It was almost uh, to uh, cycle, I guess. But uh, yeah. I tried to set up for that. Inclusive, she. Se quiser reviver os bons tempos, você pode comprar o jogo no Steam. Está disponível lá desde 2015. Also, I went okay, into this uh, bar to pick up an upgrade because you can get é, exclamação agenda. Se ver aí a. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna mention. Now, that's, that's what I was gonna mention. It just completely went out of my head. But yeah, um, so after doing certain story quests, you get certain levels of magic. You go yellow magic, green magic, red magic, and then gold, I think, or rainbow. Yeah, I think. Eu não faço um, a menor ideia. Eu, eu, eu vou ser completamente sincero aqui porque. Right at the start of Zilich. For some reason, it sets your magic level to Red Bull, uh, which is very handy because you can't actually damage anything without uh, at least Red Magic. Uh, as I said, your, your magic should level up when you get to certain story uh, parts of the story, but yeah. of course, we didn't do any of those parts, um, so we'd have only Yellow Magic here. But thankfully, just going into that pub sets our magic level to Red, which is cool. It's very nice. 
So it, we are into the in the casino, and normally we would gamble, but now we just uh, fight crocodiles for money because that's what you do, right? That that's how I would uh, do it usually. Oh yeah, the old route was fantastic. You used to have to like hit the slot machine, roll to the side, hit the other slot machine, just keep rolling back and forth and back and forth until you manage to get enough until you manage to get the key to get in there to fight the um the crocs. But no, you can just uh, use the holo holo skip, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Uh, so no, uh, since so new. Now we're going to advance the plot. Uh, we're looking for Island CX and this old guy. Uh, this this we we found out about a guy who knows something about it who escaped there, and it's like a dangerous death camp or something. Well, coisa. Um, o jeito que o Echo anda parece muito o personagem de Dudu do Edu correndo. Unfortunately, we can't finish the game because even though this is the final island, the area that we need to go to doesn't exist until we go and do a quest. Uh, we need to go and collect four pieces of the key for one for each of the species on this planet and uh, bring them here and uh, it's meant to be about some sort of prophecy about their prophet dark monk um, I can't remember the actual finer details of the story but it doesn't matter Alright, now we're going to so set up for a clover skip Oh yeah, uh, wait, I need a to set uh, it correctly, hold on There we go Should be good And... Yeah There we go Perfect. We basically very sacrifice well a clover so in order there's... to get over that uh, building there. Um, it's very convenient. Yeah, I... I didn't mention clovers, but clovers are basically just your lives. You start with two clover boxes. You 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 meant to collect more boxes so you can have more lives. It used to... And every time you collect a clover, that's a life. Um, but yeah, you sacrifice the life there to 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 get over that house really quickly. It's pretty uh, brutal. Yeah, Ele usou o menu para fazer um glitch para atravessar yeah, there was a, nice, a, nice a, a parede. E aparentemente as colisões foram muito bem programadas no jogo. Então. Então, portas às vezes são só sugestões de. You you just zap it, and then there was a way that you could stand on one of the barrels, and it would run off the uh, edge of the platform. And then apparently we can just make it fall through the platform using the hollow map, which is cool. Yeah. And then we use a uh, laser skip, and uh, also using the hollow map. It's a very handy item indeed. Yeah, the hollow map is is essential for speedrunning. It, it the the speedrun time doubles without it. Yeah, for sure. If not more, because. Uh, what, what's the world record now? It's about 30, uh, is it 25 minutes or 35? Uh, let's see, how am I on? I'm not very good in health, I'm gonna reload this uh, part briefly. Uh, health management yeah. is very crucial, especially when I do that uh, first uh, clover skip, so I want to make sure that I don't uh, take too many hits. So that one hit uh, should be yeah. enough, and I will not take a lot more hits after this, so uh, it's not necessarily yeah. uh, uh, the most dangerous uh, thing, but still a good thing to look out for. But yeah, the world record is, uh, considering the work that he was made, 97, not. Oh yeah. So when I was speedrunning it, it was a game very well made. That, that should tell you how long ago I speedrun it. Claro, the movement of his was a bit slow, but at least, at least. So now we're, uh, we went to the undergas, uh, so we need to collect the four pieces of the key. Uh, so. We need, need, uh, in we general, need, it's a good one. He's key, and he's the one. He's these uh, mole-looking people. Um, again, don't have to beat up this guy to get his key. You just get through the door. Yep, easy. So now we're going to grab the one. key, and they're going to attack us because we grabbed the sacred idol. Um, yeah, no, I'm the... the from their leader who wants to attack yeah, us. Para... us in our, the parade. our character in particular. Um, he has a grudge against us. They captured us earlier. They're like, "There, you're the wizard we're looking for." Um, yeah. If you actually played the game, uh, so you're like, "Oh, you know, who who could the bad guy be?" Uh, spoilers: It's the same guy as the first game. <laughs> <laughs> yep, same as it ever was. Uh, 
Yeah, same as it never was. But yeah, we're collecting these um, uh, gems. Uh, we're gonna. We need oh, four yeah, gems yeah. in we total gotta, uh, collect, for uh, a boat ride. It's convenient that we have to come into the gem mine to get the key because we need to collect four gems to get the ride for the ferryman in a minute. But before we go and see the ferryman, we also have to get the ferryman sunk. And that requires a little bit of a side quest here. Yeah. Uh, nice dodging of all the guards as well. Very cool. Yeah, that's very nice. I want to do a brief shout out to the LBA community. Hey, yeah, like this is really teaching me this one. Was, uh... as well for our challenge, uh, a challenge earlier last year. So uh, yeah, shout out to all of them. If you want to learn this uh, game, uh, be sure to check the speedrun.com page for the Discord. 3D isometric on scenarios and no. There are a lot more resources. Intense and extensions. Yeah. Yeah, 3D mais puro. It's pretty cool. Because right, 3D mais. Oh yeah, so Normal. we're gonna take a little break here. Um, if you have any messages you want to read out, this would be a perfect time. Awesome. We've got Minukin with $25. Oh, the memory. Such a blast to see LBA2 in this marathon. Keep up the good work and good luck, Jangle Storm. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to eat Firefly Tart over here. Um, does Twitter like it? That's a question. Yeah, do you guys want some Firefly Tart? Because I could I don't some. think Twins would like it. Yeah, I guess that's the end of the game. Sorry, I'll... Oh, wait, it isn't. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, tw tw Twinson's a uh, bit uh, culturally inappropriate there. He's like, oh my god, it's food I'm not used to. Passes out. Yeah, well, <laughs> at least we're awake again, so we can uh, resume. Could you, could you imagine Pronto? if someone like, oh my god, mal já. sushi. Melhorou, ah, levantou. Passes out. <laughs> it's fish! <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna give this uh, piece of Firefly Tart to someone who might like it. Yeah, and apparently he didn't even eat the Firefly Tart he was given, he just stuffed it in his pocket and gave it to this old man. Um, are you gonna go for a clover here? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna go for uh, multiple yeah, clovers here, sure. uh, marathon safety, this so, is a... for sure. Yeah, it's fair, fair enough. So. Aquelas bolas de lava ali parecem cheetos. E sim, é Riffison. Essa é a restream oficial da Summer Games Done Quick. Uma hora toda vez que você sente que está ajudando a médicos de fronteira. Depois é, aqueles títulos bolinha. If I wait there long enough, they will basically drop at exactly the same moment, so that's very convenient. And I'm basically set up for the rest of the game, uh, well, for now at least, so that's good. So that's uh, back to safety again. Alright, so we're gonna take a brief walk over here. So are you guys all ready to sing? Yeah, we're gonna sing a song. Are you ready to sing? We're gonna sing the Ferryman song. <laughs> I hope you're all, uh, you're all ready to hear this, it's beautiful. Sing along if you know it. Ferryman. If you, man, please, if you take please, me across, take me across seas, the raging seas, or a few seas, gems, or a few your gems. I'll take I your boat. Swim. I cannot swim. No, no, é, é, no caso, o bolinha é queijo suíço, Branks. Okay. Oh, man, that's my next question. É... <laughs> o Lu é queijo, se não me engano, é queijo parmesão. We've got $50 from Janik, who says, I simply had to donate during this little big adventure to O bolinha é o suíço e tem o tubinho que é, eu acho que é cheddar. Não, não lembro se é cheddar. For making this event happen despite the pandemic. Love and health to you all. Thank you so much. We also got 50 dollars. Você só queijo puro. Says little big adventure. Now I really have to donate since this is one of the first RPGs I actually played all the way through. Round 20. Eu não mais daqui aí do jogo, eles dizem que ele faça Ah, thank you. That's super much appreciated. Ele usa menos de pausa e saves para poder atravessar a parede. Yeah, we took the ferryman boat. Now we're at the island of the muscabees and thanks to the hollow map skip, we don't have to speak to the bee to take us to the queen chamber because that's a long ass cutscene. So we just hollow map up to the mountain. Um, this is the point of the game where the the island is meant to be like under attack by the uh, bad guys of the game because the queen is part of the dissidents because there's a dictator dissidents. Uh, you know the, the the rebellion. So we gotta help the rebellion. Also, the second clover skip um, under. Uh... Yeah, no, the clover skip as well. Uh, saves just taking an elevator up. Yep. 
Um, this is the worst boss in the game. I hate this boss. This is like 50% of the reason I stopped Skip screaming. Boy, you. Because Boris. hitting this timing... Yeah, it's a... It's Why don't you leave the map? Apparently. What I do there is I and... usually hit from the side. Uh, as soon as I have dealt the first hit, because it's basically guaranteed to hit. So you have to make sure that... You, yeah, you, can, yeah. you can set up everything else accordingly. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. It's, it's, it's good that there's a setup for it now, but I couldn't... Uh, it, no one could figure it out back then. <laughs> Um, and, and there's a funny thing here because like, like that little gap, no one knew that was there when I started speedrunning it as well. So we just used to go all the way around, <laughs> like back back down the lift. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, we got the last uh, the uh, the key of the Muscovies. Um, the not very imag imaginative names like the sausage people are called the Francos, the the bee people are called the Muscovies. Um, well, you know they're bees at least. Yeah. They're they're about as imag imaginative as Pokemon names. Essa às vezes essa perspectiva três D me engana que eu acho que ele vai cair num buraco, mas não. So and we take them off again. Done. Yeah. Perfect. Easy. Só o jogo mesmo. We gotta get behind the queen's uh, fat behind uh, because her, her fat behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then uh, we set up for the okay. throne skip. Okay, we got first right, nice. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a really good throne skip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, it used to be you'd have to go and, like, cause the attack and get the queen arrested and then go get the key off her, but thanks for hollow skip. Get through it, because the loading zone uh, is actually in between the door. So you can't actually get behind that door with, um... Like, I just part of the... You can get behind it, but you can't hit the loading zone because it's in the middle of the door, which is fantastic. So... Now we're at Island CX apparently because the distance had a secret tunnel that led them to the evil base, yep. uh, the evil main base of the game. Apparently, um, I don't think that's ever explained, but it's just there. Um, gotta go in here. Batendo aí no bonecão do posto. Activate the next bit of the plot because we're gonna meet the Emperor now, and the Emperor is working with the main villain of the game. Um, to destroy your planet, and what the happened? evil plan is, of course, to put rockets on the moon and fire it at the planet. So we just steal like and three course, hits, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, an epic, epic boss battle, guys. Three hits, knees down. <laughs> yeah, and then one more trick up the uh, sleeve. Okay, we're gonna set up for uh, what's called a warzone skip. Um, it's a really cool trick. It does skip some. Uh, uh, stuff that's coming up uh, very shortly so we'll see if I can get it like right away. A nice little skip as well, right, just uh, uh, clip up to the top of that. Let's see if I can here. Okay, nice, got that. Um, Excellent, very well done. Yeah, and that skips off uh, so, the Franco's down below and usually that takes a lot longer so uh, that's one that, uh, that's oops. been found uh, pretty recently. Yeah, that's that's really good because getting to the you got to run past like four guys with the Uzis and they're terrible to get past. They they, they just won't. Sometimes they just won't let you pass. Um, but finding a way up is that. Mas eles são sugestão apenas. So much better now and fast. E a travessa com um pouco de glitch no menu. As you can see, we've got a sword now, and when we use the sword, we put our tunic on. So the tunic is the blue thing we were supposed to grab at the beginning of the game, yeah. because it like gives us it gives us our magic bar. But because, of course, we we went into the other bar, it gave us gave us magic anyway. Um, it allows the yeah, it allows the store magic and power and. We're going to pass up to the boss. Game designers didn't think that you'd be able to get to this part of the game without the tunic, so they just didn't program sword animations without the tunic. <laughs> so every time you're wielding the sword, you're also wielding the tunic. Yeah, it's here a, we are. <laughs> it's a very cool sword. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to take. Uh, we got. We grab that key to take this uh, royal shuttle to the royal palace. Where Agora o Bruno aí deu uma de GTA e uh, pegou a nave. No, the Esmas are the also before people. Uh, I, I forget. That's a final part anyway. So. Uh... Yeah, uh, we're coming up to uh, the, the sword fighting these guys. It's probably a very, probably one of the worst things in this game. At least you didn't get stuck in between them. Last time I saw you do this, they sandwiched it, it you. It can happen. <laughs> it can surely happen, but this is uh, oh, pretty much fine. So I basically uh, yeah. spam the attack button over and over again uh, because. I run in fiana for hard enough guards. Otherwise, you have these uh, very nice moves, and but. You are sharp, you can't refuse your appeal. 
using the animation to skip uh, resetting, like I said, with Spoy for inv invincibility frames, you can also do it with Aggressive to reset your attack animation, and you can get very fast attacks. So now we're in, uh, a, it's it's a key maze. Uh, there is a, it's a four by four, you know, four by four rooms, and in each room is either monsters or a key. And we know the path where, that gives us the key. And no monsters. Uh, sorry. We know the key. Well, path path um, the the final room, we have a chave and a porta certa. Uh, three little pigs in it. Yep. There is a. If you play this game, I recommend playing it casually, honestly. Even if you don't want to pick it up as a speedrun, I, I do recommend playing it at least once because there's, there's lots of weird little references and. And, and uh, funny you things in a you can see in a lot of modern games. Yeah, that, like... this is a thing that is very much 90s, and it's all the more beautiful for that, I think. Is that the show? Yeah, it's, is it's, it's a show of its time, but it's not terrible, even if it wasn't from the 90s. Alright, next room. Uh, yeah, so the, the final corridor, this is where the key is, but we got to beat up three guards first and have a boss battle. The guards, of course, are terrible because they, they jump to the side every time. Um, if you can get them into a corner and just swipe, 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 that's fantastic, but it's so hard to get them to there. Yeah, you can also group them together uh, in certain uh, ways uh, that can speed up things as well, but uh, yeah, that can be tough, so I usually deal with them this way. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. Excellent. And it's time for... And now, of course, uh, the final boss. The uh, very well-dressed two-headed demon thing. There you go. Like, it looks like a scary eldritch abomination, but someone's put him in a very nice vest. Yeah. <laughs> right. So now, yeah, the subs. Those are the tall ones, the subs. Um, you now on the subs key, so now we can get to the final area of the game because we've got all four keys. Escape through um, the back. And <laughs> yep, and of course, there's sliding down the mountain as you do. Um, funny because we didn't actually go up any stairs, so somehow we managed to go upstairs even without climbing anything or going sliding down the mountain without going up. It's video so games. I just note that. It's I, I know <laughs> it's, it's just those weird continuity things I, I pick up on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go to the final island of the game, like I said earlier, uh, the one we went to earlier with that, that guy was all patched up, but now we can actually use the key to activate or get to the final, final area. Yep. So it's it's coming up to pretty much the end of the game now. Um, this is... Fantastic. We're going to the final of the game. going to put the key in, and now the secret evil bad guy will be revealed. Is this a dark monk or is it someone else? Also, upcoming is uh, one of the funniest lines, and I'm gonna show that to you. Usually, I skip everything, but. You mysterious villain, where the villain of the first game? Yeah, we we can skip all these lines if we want to, but we're gonna show up one here because it's fantastic. Right. Here it comes. Epic evil. Line. You were the man of the month. Hey. Wow, Twinson. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Every time. Oh, Dialogue memorable. Such words. I, I, I should start ending all of my emails like that. Just <laughs> That would be my signature from now on in my emails. Adieu. <laughs> Adieu. Yours sincerely. <laughs> Adieu. Yeah, can you guess what uh, country this uh, game was made in, guys? All right. Go save here. And time to use these bombs that we got, like, back in the beginning of the game. Yeah, we pick, we picked up this uh, that that mecha penguin like right at the start of the game, and uh, and the second one was in the moon base. Hey, and we didn't use them until now. Skipo. You're supposed to get up here using a jumping puzzle, but thanks to the mecha penguin jump, we could just like jump. It, it allows us to go. It allows us to skip like what do you call it, vertical movement, and just gives us hor uh, sorry horizontal, which just gives us vertical movement. Um, door skipping through this again. You meant to beat up guards and get keys, but don't need to. And the Mecha Penguin um, actually for its intended use. Oh, you missed. Yeah, I missed. I'm gonna can reload you, this room, I think. Uh, yeah, I just can't say you can't get it there, can you? <laughs> it's, it's a really easy setup normally, but uh, it kind of went sideways. That's fine. Yeah, I've, nev I've never seen anyone. Não sei como before, entendi, so então ele... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> or do I save? There's probably a reason why, but there we go. There we go, perfect. So yeah, this is the final room of the game, so time is coming up very soon. Basically just destroyed the lifts there and it... it, it you're supposed to destroy lifts and it opens up the next room. 
Um, and that's exactly what you did. You actually did that bit intended. The first one we just hollow skipped down. Yeah. Got another, got the so same. these are all like robot robot clones or something? I don't know. It's not quite yeah, clear. Yeah, mecha robo uh, uh, that's... clones. And... Now we see Fun Frog. Is it the real the fake Frog Frog? That's the question. Yeah, but by the way, Fun Frog just uh, drops all the kids into the lava. Yeah, so. they'll be fine, don't worry. And then he jumped in himself. Ah, oh, horrified with his own actions at murdering children, he the, also jumps uh, into the lava. For the other Fun Frog, <laughs> and get ready, and time. Time. Damn oh, cool. Well done. I'll, I'll give you a little round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> so, so basically, what happens in the end there is, uh, like with the money monkey, we use the hollow skip to get him to go through the floor. Did the exact same thing here. Foi uma boa, né? Into the lava. Yeah, Eu não entendi bolu, fez o que ele fez. Yep, and of course, uh, what's his face? Baldino fixed the ship and saved all of the children. Yeah. Apparently, there are only four children. Nossa, on cara, esses FMVs, cara, dos yeah. anos 90. So, more, but, uh, I, I, Meu Deus, I cara. That's all the parents. And twins are safe. I worry about their genetic pool, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyway, that's Se você uma... I've been uh... Jack of Hearts. I have hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, do you want to see the yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the Se você Night Time Feel, você procura por CG de jogo dos anos 90. Yeah, 2918. That's a fantastic time. Oh, that's well. a sub 30. That's that's really good. There were some uh, setups yeah, that didn't quite really get, well but uh, I'm definitely glad with that. Uh, that's. I think like a week ago or so, it was really close to my uh, current uh, PB, but now I um, have a PB that's uh, mid-28, so uh, still pretty close. So I'm super happy with that uh, time. No, it's, it's always nice when you PB at a marathon, though, because you can just get like that beautiful highlight <laughs> that looks so much better than so, your so, home so, streams. So beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the moon is still <laughs> heading towards uh, the planet of Twinson, so... Esse foi oh, yeah. Little Big Adventures 2. Frog, uh, é, se você quiser fight. comprar ele no Steam, ele tá R$8,40. E se você quiser comprar os dois jogos, um e o dois, ele tá. Ele tem que gastar R$16,00 os dois jogos. Little Big Adventure 1 e o Little Big Adventure 2. Final Fantasy VII, então eles estavam em desenvolvimento ao mesmo tempo. Sim, pretty much. Mas nós temos que comer a meia da moon, of course, como você faz. 